Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today our topic of discussion will be wing walk areas, cracks, and also wing walk replacement on the Piper PA-28 and 32 series aircraft. Uh, we get a lot of calls, we get a lot of emails regarding this uh, particular problem here. We see a lot of discussion on um, internet message boards regarding this area also, uh, discussion about uh, how bad do the cracks have to be before they need to be replaced? Does the wing need to be removed from the aircraft to do any kind of repair to the wing walk area? Can the wing walk area be repaired on the aircraft? We will focus on the wing walk area here today, a uh, discussion about uh, different repairs that can be made, uh, pros and cons of doing the repair on the aircraft, off the aircraft. There's no particular answer to this problem. Uh, again, this will just be for discussion only. So today we have a donor fuselage here. We have a donor wing just to show the relation of where we're uh, discussing today on the wing walk area. Uh, again, this is a fixed gear PA-28 series aircraft. Uh, the retractable uh, aircraft, uh, PA-28Rs, PA-32Rs, uh, will be similar in construction, a little bit different. We'll discuss that later. But uh, on this particular wing here, a fixed gear PA-28 series wing, uh, we have the wing walk area, of course, on the right-hand wing of the aircraft. We have a wing walk skin forward of the spar, and then we have a wing walk skin after the spar as well. Uh, cracks may occur in either one or both of those skins. They may occur up against the fuselage. They may occur away from the fuselage. So during an inspection, uh, cracks may be noticed in the underlying structure of the skins. Uh, you may notice this uh, wing walk area being spongy, being soft, uh, having some give to it. Uh, when you climb up onto the wing to enter the aircraft. These are all indications of cracks in the underlying structure of these skins. So for expedience sake today, we have already removed the rivets from the forward and the aft wing walk skins of this wing. So we'll go ahead and pull these skins loose from the wing structure at this time. On your forward skin, uh, we call it the triangle skin. We'll pull that loose here. Uh, then we also have an aft wing walk skin as well. You can see here they come off as a unit. I'll flip these over and you'll see that there is an underlying structure to these skins. Uh, these pans will typically have cracks around these flutes here and these flutes are what provide structure underneath the wing walk. Uh, we have drawn in cracks where uh, cracks would typically appear on these flutes. Uh, these particular skins are not cracked, but uh, for demonstration, we have drawn in with a marker where the cracks may appear on these flutes. The aft skin is of similar construction with a fluted structure underneath. Again, this is for a fixed gear PA-28 or PA-32 series wing. Uh, on the retractable aircraft, the aft skin does not have this flute because the skin is over the gear well area where the retractable uh, landing gear uh, tucks into the wing. So on a retractable aircraft, this fluted uh, skin structure would not be present. The fluted skin structure would be present on the forward wing walk area for both fixed gear and retractable aircraft. So with the forward and aft wing walk skins removed, this allows us to easily see what the interior structure of the Piper wing looks like. Of course, you can see the main spar right here. This is an I-beam construction going into the spar carry through of the aircraft. You have your forward attach fitting up here at the front of the wing and the aft attach fitting back here toward the rear of the wing. So you have your area where your forward wing walk would be you have your area where your aft wing walk would be as well. Uh, one area to look at, uh, another problem area to go looking for on a Piper aircraft is these hat sections right here on the lower skin. Uh, they run in that same area on the bottom surface of the wing. Uh, this would be a good area to go looking for cracks at the ends of the hat sections while you're in there inspecting this. 
with the wing walk skins off of the wing, this allows us to also see how close in proximity the butt rib is to the fuselage and what little room there is to access these rivets along the butt rib of the wing. Of particular note on these uh, Piper wings when discussing the replacement of the wing walk skin is the rivets along the main spar line of the wing. Of course, this is the most critical area of the wing, particularly being here at the inboard portion of the wing. Uh, the whole stress of the wing uh, starts here, uh, is carried through this spar here. So the rivets along the spar line are the most critical aspect of changing out this wing walk skin. As you can see on the lower skin, there are no access panels. So access to the back sides of these rivets to buck these rivets uh, is very limited when the wing is on the aircraft. Of course, uh, per AC4313, blind rivets are not allowed along the main spar, so we have to have access in order to put shop-driven solid rivets in the spar line here. There are two challenges when faced with the rivets along this main spar line here. First of all is removing these rivets from the spar without elongating the rivet holes due to the thickness of the spar flange. And then secondly, reinstalling those rivets back in there when putting the wing walk skin back in place. Again, uh, using longer rivets to uh, go through the thickness of this spar cap and there again, getting the rivets in there, driven rivets, so that uh, they are not clinched over, they are not uh, knocked over, uh, and that they fill the holes along the spar line correctly. The single most troublesome rivet of the whole project is this one rivet right back here. This is on the aft side of the main spar at the inboard rib right here where the two skins overlap. Not only are you dealing with the thickness of the main spar, but there is also a tab underneath the spar. When that rivet is taken out, when you are trying to remove the wing walk skins, uh, special care has to be taken to first of all, not elongate the rivet hole, and secondly, not to drive the tail of the rivet out and deform this tab underneath the spar. With the old skins removed, with the tails cleaned out of the structure and the underlying structure all clean and inspected, you will have new wing walk assemblies to reinstall on the wing. Of course, this is a outer skin here with a underlying substructure attached to it. One particular note is that uh, the new skins will come with a straight edge along the inboard edge. This will need to be trimmed in a curve to uh, match the uh, contour of the fuselage. The old wing walk skin can be used as a pattern to uh, get this curve uh, correct here along the fuselage. One thing you might want to note is that with the wing removed from the aircraft, access to the rivets is e much easier through the butt rib of the wing. This allows access to the rivets along the spar line to this underlying rib here, and then also along your flange of your butt rib coming in through the end rib of the wing with a bucking bar to access uh, all of the rivets in the wing walk area. If the wing is on the fuselage, of course, the fuselage is right up against the wing and this does not allow access to the underlying structure. So that is all of our discussion today on the Piper PA28 and 32 series wing walk areas. Uh, as you can see, there is no particular right or wrong answer to this. Uh, there's a variety of solutions for repairing these wing walk areas. Uh, depending on the skill level of your mechanic, depending on the comfort level of your mechanic doing these repairs, uh, the repairs could be accomplished uh, with the wing on the aircraft, uh, the repairs could be accomplished with the wing off the aircraft, or even if the wing were simply removed from the aircraft, moved away from the fuselage uh, a couple of feet, 
uh, repairs accomplished, and then the wing slid back onto the aircraft. The wing does not necessarily have to be shipped back and forth to a wing repair facility, but again, the intent of this video is simply to uh, be informative and to show you what the underlying structure of the wing looks like, to show you what uh, problems or what uh, uh, features you may uh, encounter while uh, repairing the wing walk area of these aircraft.